Hi there and welcome to Neophyte.tv, the technology show for the not-so-geeky. My name is Tiffany Young. And I'm Ben Friedman. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Welcome back. Can you and, believe it's 2009 uh, already? 2009 and CES is over and Where done with. 2008 go? It's amazing. It's our first show now here back mm -hmm. in the studio uh, after coming back from CES. That was a lot of fun. And we're going on our third year. Vegas, that was, yeah, third year I think in CES. A lot of fun. Yeah. Great time. Anyway, on with the products, because we're back to normal now. So uh, today we're going to be reviewing yeah, this are. little guy, company, yeah, as normal as we get. This <laughs> is... <that> affected. <laughs> All right. All right. At least you didn't get arrested this year. silliness out. Yeah, I know. I'm just happy about that. Hey, I've learned no some more, rules about Vegas no since the last time I went. bailing you out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's not going to happen again, I tell you. <laughs> Um, this is the uh, Flip Video Minnow, and what this is, is a tiny little video camera that uh, so you basically uh, turn on with this little button here, like so. It tiny is little screen, basic. and it is very basic. Red button, mm -hmm. push the red button to shoot. Can I shoot some video of you? Sure. All no, right. I'm, I don't want to be in front of the camera. So here we are, uh, you're hearing audio and video now right from the little uh, minnow camera. And I can see in the front there's a little red button that's showing it's recording. Is there? Mm -hmm. So there is, here, hold it. There. Here I am filming Ben. Hi, Mom. <laughs> so uh, yeah, here we are. There's a studio. Yeah. Oh. There's yeah. a studio, that's what it's it looks studio. like. So uh, there you go. That, you know, so Tiff, let me, uh, I don't know if there's any way to get both of us uh, on here, probably not. Hi, I don't know if we're there. Cheese. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good um, point. What do you think? It is uh, amazing. I love the technology. This is DVD TV quality. Yep. So good quality. This is so easy. You can give it to your grandmother's grandma, and she can push the button, record video, plug it into her computer, which, by the way. Whoa, that's very good. Yeah, that's stealth. Yeah. So USB charges by USB. Charges by USB. Downloads via USB. Right. So even all she has to do is push the button and hand it to you, and you've got that on your computer. This is the simplest form of technology I've seen in the most compact fashion. So I love it. You love it. I do. Mm -hmm. It is small, I'll give you that. But I got to tell you, I have some problems with it. Oh, do tell. Well, first of all, pretty much any digital camera you buy today, still camera, right. takes video. And most of them take video just as good, if not better than this guy. Okay. This thing does not take still pictures. So if you want to take stills and video with this, you have to carry two devices. Well, so if you, but if you just have a still camera, like like some of the, the Pentaxes we've reviewed or the yeah, Sony whatever. Those which are good cameras. Yeah, the yeah. little ones, that some of which are smaller than this, um, that's all you need. Just the one device, it'll take stills and it'll take... Um, Video. Okay, but if you hand grandma a Pentax or a Sony and she has more than one or two buttons to push, she's going to get confused. At least that's been my experience it in my family. It is pretty hard to screw this up. You've got the you big, can't uh, mess big red this button up. on the back. It's pretty you obvious push the button, which button records, it records on there. You push the button and it stops. You can't erase your stuff, right? I mean, accidentally go back and, and erase everything. There is. There's a little trash button, but if you don't hit it, you don't hit it. But if you don't see it, yeah, if you don't, you know, if it's not obvious, right. you're not going to figure it out anyway. So right. anyway. And, but, but at the same time, you, you can, it's pretty obvious to figure out which button is the trash button, right? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. It's right here. Right. So, <laughs> you know, you press that, but it, and it just right. gives you a little warning oh, if you yeah, want to delete the video and such on there. Oh, there's but, a trash button. But it does come up with no, and if you just leave it no. alone for a second, it's it goes go. away. So. Uh, so, yeah, and pricing, 140 140 yeah, I, I don't know what it is. So you can, I, you know, it varies over the internet, again. But about 140. That records an hour of video on there. Uh, another problem I have with it, there's no removable card. So this is not a great device for taking away like on vacation where you want to do three or four hours. Mm -hmm. You know, with a, again, I have to come back to it. You get a digital still camera with an eight gig card that mm -hmm. costs like 20 bucks. You buy three or four eight gig cards. And when one gets full, you put it in your purse, put the second one in, gets full, put it in your purse. This thing, it's an hour and you're done. You've got to download it. Okay, so with that being said, first of all, not everybody has a camera with them all the time, okay? And the likelihood of carrying this thing around because it's so convenient and it's so small is probably greater than I would have one or the other, if not, if not both. What if you were in a car accident, huh? Could you imagine having this in your purse and being able just to record the exact moments, exactly what was said? There is nothing that's more important than having documentation. Hey, I've just gotten sideswiped by a Subaru. I'm going to whip <laughs> out my minnow and capture it on film. Absolutely. I mean, this is what, this is, you know, what doesn't makes have court real, cases. Doesn't have a real zoom. Doesn't have okay. focus. Doesn't have a removable card. Uh, is not it's designed to be any simple. better than I think a still camera that takes stills as well. Uh, for you know, I got to tell you, I give it uh, two out of five. You could hide this in a teddy bear and make it turn into a nanny cam. 
I mean, there's no, you so wouldn't, many. Because after an hour, you'd be out of footage. Well, you have to like leave and come back in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great product. I think it's simple. Simplicity is what you get from this, and um, quality-wise, I think it's it's pretty darn good for what it does. So five out of five. Five out of five, Danny. Two out of five for me. That is seven out of ten for the Minnow uh, flip cam. You know what? Yeah. We're reviewing this. Uh, we're reviewing a scooter. Scooter coming up outside. <gasps> Let's uh, sh use this. We'll shoot this to shoot the video of the next product we review. That is a great idea. And that way, uh, we will see be able yourself. to see the quality of exactly. it for yourself. We'll use that for audio and for video. Great. So with that coming up, seven out of ten for the uh, flip Minnow and flip video oh. Minnow. And we will be back after this with that. So please stay tuned. And we're back, and in the second spotlight today, we're yeah, looking at options. this beautiful piece of aluminum. Aww, you know, yeah. I don't know about uh, your kid. Your kid has one of those razors, right? Razor he does. Scooters? He got a razor because you said all the kids in your neighborhood had razors. That's right. And all the kids I felt in my the neighborhood pressure. have razors. And my, my girls have razors. Those are, <laughs> by razors, I don't mean the shaving device. I mean those little, <laughs> those little scooters. <laughs> they're really they're really cute. Yeah. And those, ra those razors are great. Mm -hmm. uh, they're 30, 40 bucks. We got them like at Costco or somewhere. Yeah. My girls love them. Yeah. First of all, it's before you can ride a bike, you can ride a razor. I mean, they're exactly. so easy. Razors, razors, Helps with scooters. balance, motor yeah. skills. Sometimes one of my kids will want to go out or something, and I will take the other razor. And I've ridden it, but the problem is, is you're hunched over, you're way low, because it's designed for small people. It's got these tiny little yeah. wheels. You feel every little pebble right. you know, in the ground. So this is a fantastic product for grown-ups grown up. who want to uh, participate in that scooter experience. This yeah. is the Zooter scooter. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, look at these wheels. Yes, look how big they are. Oh, very this cool. is a scooter designed for grown-ups. First of all, Pick, pick it up. How heavy do you think it is? Not very. No, it's about 10 yes. pounds. And it's easy to pick up and easy to fold, so you can put it in the trunk of your car. Mm -hmm. This particular model is made of uh, aluminum. This is the Zooter Street model. It's called Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, in there. It's little pads for traction. These are really, I mean, that's like, can you hear that? Very grippy. Very yeah. grippy. And what you do is, when you're ready to ride it, you pull out this pin, like so. This folds up like that. You then reinsert the pin, and boom, you're ready to go. And you can mm -hmm. also then erase the handlebars right. on here. I'm not going to do that right now because we don't have a lot of little break here. right here. There's a front brake so. and a back brake here that you can get on here. And as you see, it's got a really wide pad. But look how big it is! Huge wheels, really good rolling yeah. wheels, and. Uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, they are. And so I was practicing the first time. There, there's no learning curve really. I no, mean, once if you if you can balance, like, yeah, you know, watch we go out and fall down now. Yeah. If you can balance, if you can balance, you, you can ride one of these. So. so rather than yapping here about it, why don't we go outside and we'll use that little flip cam Great for the idea. first segment and we'll shoot some video and we'll uh, you can see it in yeah. action as it were. All right, let's go give it a shot. And we'll be right back. So here we are outside the beautiful offices of Rue Productions where we shoot Neophyte.tv. Yes, and uh, here we are with the Zooter Scooter. And uh, I'm going to uh, show you a couple of little features here. First of all, oh, by the way, pan up, pan up. Okay, we're using that little USB flip camera in the first segment to shoot this, so I hope it looks okay. Let me pan down again. First of all, you're going to change the uh, height of the handlebars. You undo this quick release, pull this up, push this back down again, and boom, you're done. Easy. So very easy to change that. Up here is a front brake, and if you follow down here is a back brake that you just step on with your foot while you're riding. So here I am. I'm going to go for a quick scoot around uh, around here, and then we'll I'll let Tiffany. Take. Let me tell ya, coming by for a pass by, you fly by, passing by. Ooh, it's fast. It's very fast. Not running into me. Did you, did you catch me there? So yeah. let me tell you, um, it's fast. This thing goes fast, and if you've got any kind of hills, I mean, it's a good thing you've got a brake on here. All right, Tiff, give me the camera. And it is very fast. Right. Yeah. Camera. Here we go. Okay, there you go. All right. 
All right, now we got uh, Tiffany here. Hold on. Okay, that's good. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Give it some kicks and tell me what you think. Yeah, we probably can't hear you at this point. Turn! Ah. You alright? It's like wakeboarding. So you like right foot forward and leaning is cool, right? I doubt if we can hear you, but that's okay. No. I'm saying leaning is pretty cool. Yeah. So look at I haven't even kicked once since then. Notice? That was my only kick that I, okay. I did. So now, now we're walking we're walking with you. Tell tell me what you think. So when you lean, just a little lean, it's very intuitive. So if you've ever wakeboarded, if you've ever uh, spent any time on a surfboard, very intuitive. And it's super easy, it's really a lot of fun. It's a lot of momentum all by itself. Look, look how far one hand goes. Bye, Tiff. <laughs> so there you go, there you saw the Zooter in action. What did you think? Uh. Uh, Oh, do you like my windblown look? Yes. yes. <laughs> that was so fun. It is a lot of fun. You know what you notice is the kind of you, you get a lot of momentum just from this just thing from rolls the, very fast. I mean, once you get a couple of good kicks on a flat surface, yeah. it keeps you going a long ways. I thought it was great. And I did it in heeled boots. Yeah. So now I have the, the only one problem with this is the price. Oh, so the yeah. cheapest one of these is like like two hundred and some odd dollars, and mm. it goes up to this version, which is like two seventy or That's something. It's a little pricey. So compared to the razors, which are like 40, 50 bucks. Right. I wonder if the price, it's just the new new factor, you know, is price gonna come down a little bit? I don't know, I mean, they're very well made. They are well made. So yes, I, they are. I could see that if you wanted to get one and you were gonna like use it to commute to work or something. Well, this is a very green living, you know, green living product as well. Yeah, so yeah. what do you give it? Um, it's a little pricey still. Um, so four out of five, and the only reason why I'm docking it a little bit is price. Yeah, a couple hundred bucks is yeah. still pricey. If they could get it uh, yeah. like under 150, like 149 oh, or 99 it would bucks, be, It would fly off would the shelves. I agree. 149.99. Yeah, or 99. Does that work in the marketing budget? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I, give, I agree with you. I think it's perfect except for the price, $99. Uh, would be a much better price, so four out of five for me. <laughs> You're 99, I'm like 149, 99. So 49, so. 95, perfect. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> last name Friedman. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, so four out of five for you, and four out of five for me. So that is eight out of ten for the Zooter Street. A wonderful device. You could definitely yeah. keep up. In fact, you'll go way faster than your kids probably. Right. Which sometimes you need to. Yeah, get ahead of them. There. Get ahead of them. Stop, stop. And that's all the time we have for today. So visit our website, www.neo-fight.tv. Is that too much to pay for a scooter, or would you pay that yeah. for a scooter of this Give quality? us some feedback, and we'll send it to the, the company that, that sent us this one and Indeed. let them know what you know marketing is on our side. And if you have an extra 30 seconds, take a look at this. Hey, I'm Andy Walker. Have you just bought a new computer with Windows Vista on it? Or maybe you've got an old XP computer that you upgraded. But we've just created an amazing new DVD. It'll teach you everything you need to know about the new operating system from Microsoft. It's called Getting Started with Windows Vista. In this DVD, there are three sections. One is out of the box. What do you need to do as soon as you start up Vista? Number two is Vista Essentials, things you need to know every day to make a computer experience amazing. Antivirus, security, all kinds of new features that Vista offers. And finally, geek tips and tricks, things you need to know that nobody else will have told you to make you a Vista guru. For more information, check out our website at gettingstartedvideo.com.